So a friend of mine, whose name is Dan Clores, uh owned a uh, very successful PR firm in Manhattan and represented at one point everyone from Paul Simon to Howard Stern to like, I mean, I was blown, kind of blown away by his success. And we were, knew each other, we were friendly, but we weren't close friends. And everybody in the park knew each other. You played ball, you fought, you hung out, we knew each other. And it's probably 15 years now. We went and had lunch. Actually, it's me and my friend Frank Bass, who's one of the stars in the movie. Shout out to Frank. <laughs> uh, we had lunch with Danny. And we started talking about the guys. Whatever happened to this guy? Whatever happened to Steve? Whatever happened to Bernie? What happened? And he looked at me and he goes, I'm going to find the guys. And I'm going to tell the story. I go, yeah, right. I said, you're going to go back to the Hamptons this weekend and you're going to hang out with your friends in the Hamptons. He says, no, I'm going to tell the story. And with another guy from the neighborhood who, be who became very successful in the advertising industry, his name is Ron Berger, shout out to Ron. The two of them went out on a two-year mission. And I think they found like 30 guys. And obviously it was all over the country. And they cut it down to, they did, I don't know how many hours of actual footage. And they cut it down to nine guys, but five main guys. I'm not one of the main characters in it. Although the, the Levine family has a nice, you know, part of it. And um, they put together this documentary about growing up in Brighton Beach, about a bunch of guys who grow up playing basketball together, but I, it's not about basketball, it's about life and the roller coaster, the good, the bad, and the ugly of life. And um, it's pretty cool. We went to the Sundance Film Festival, Showtime bought it, and I think it's on Showtime every December for whatever reason. I don't know why it runs all through December. And it was cool because the first time we saw the actual movie was the first time I had seen these guys in many years. Uh, Danny invited everyone to the Hamptons. And we sat in the basement. The screening was going to be at the theater later that night. But we wanted, he wanted to show it to us first. <coughs> and I sat with all the guys and their families, and we heard about the... I had heard bits and pieces of stories, but I, not to, to be with the guys and then to hear the whole story. We sat like babies crying hugging each other. And that night was the um, screening and dance house in the Hamptons. And there was a party of about, he had maybe 200 people. And it was the who's who of the Hamptons. <laughs> this is great. And people were coming over and to my father, you know, uh, one guy was Jeff Zucker, who is now president of, uh, I, I don't know, he was president of NBC. I think he's CNBC now. Um, Matt Lowell was the, I mean, it was just very cool, a lot of celebrities. But my father was the, the celebrity at that night. And they went over to him, and they were hugging him. And they go, Ziggy, you stole the movie. And my father goes, this the, who's this guy? There's the vodka. <laughs> I need a drink. Because originally, they t when they brought the film crew up to Brighton, they said, we don't want you to talk about the concentration camps. This is not about the concentration camps. Ziggy, do you understand? It's not about the camps. It's about Brighton and the boys, and you went to see him play ball, and how growing up was. He goes, I got it. Camera starts, he's in Auschwitz. And there were five crew people up there, and each one broke down. And afterwards, uh, Danny called me, and he goes, I don't think you, the Levines are getting into the movie. I go, why not? He goes, I told your father not to talk about the camps. So a few weeks later, he, when the editing started and they showed it to all these Hollywood kind of people or executives, whatever, said, his part is so compelling. You need to get him in the movie. And as you know, you saw the movie. It's very cool how it was edited and they, they brought in the Levine family. And it was great.